Welcome back! In this video, we will go over some of the major muscles of the head and the neck. Starting with the first muscle, this is the frontalis muscle, also called the frontal belly of the epicraneous muscle. So this entire muscle is the epicraneous muscle. This is the frontal belly of the epicraneous muscle, also called the frontalis muscle. And this is the occipital belly of the epicraneous muscle, also called the occipitalis muscle. Right here, this is the aponeurosis of the epicraneous muscle. Moving to the muscle right here that surrounds the eye, this is the orbicularis oculi muscle. Whereas this muscle right here that surrounds the mouth, can see part of it, this is the orbicularis oris muscle. Moving to this muscle right here, we can see part of it. This is the levator labi superioris muscle. It elevates, it pulls the lip upwards. Whereas this muscle right here, it is the depressor labi inferioris. It pulls the lip downwards. This muscle right here is the mentalis muscle. In the anatomical terminology, this region is the mental region. On the side right here, we can see the zygomaticus major muscle. Inferior to it right here, we can see the zygomaticus minor muscle. This right here, we can see part of the buccinator muscle. At the angle of the mandible, this muscle right here is the masseter muscle. So we can see the buccinator muscle. The zygomaticus major muscle, zygomaticus minor muscle, and the masseter muscle. And this muscle right here, we can see the platysma. Right under the platysma, we can see some of the neck muscles. This muscle right here is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You can see the sternum, the clavicle, and the mastoid process of the temporal bone. This is the sternohyoid muscle. It runs between the sternum and the hyoid bone. This right here, this is the sternothyroid muscle. It runs between the sternum and the thyroid cartilage in blue right here. Right here, we can see the digastric muscle. Whereas this muscle right here is the stylohyoid muscle. It runs between the styloid process the temporal bone and the hyoid bone. We can see part of the hyoid bone right here. This muscle right here is the mylohyoid muscle. And again, this muscle is the sternohyoid muscle. It runs between the sternum and the hyoid bone. Right here, we can see part of the platysma. This right here, you can see part of the pectoralis major muscle, one of the thorax muscles. Right here, we can see the deltoid muscle that gives the shoulder its round shape. Right under the pectoralis major muscle, we have the pectoralis minor muscle. Right here, we can see the two intercostal muscles. So this right here is the internal intercostal muscles. Notice how the fibers, they run away from the sternum. Whereas this is the external intercostal muscles, notice how the fibers, they run toward the sternum. This muscle right under the clavicle, this is the subclavius muscle. On the side right here, we can see the temporalis muscle, which is located on the temporal bone. This right here, we can see part of the masseter muscle, which covers the angle of the mandible, this bone right here. We can also see the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Moving posteriorly, this right here is the trapezius muscle, which looks trapezoid in shape. Right under the trapezius muscle, we can see the levator scapula muscle. This bone is the scapula, the levator scapula muscle, it, it pulls the scapula upwards. This right here is the spine of the scapula. This is the supraspinatus muscle. If we take the deltoid muscle away, we can see the infraspinatus muscle. This is the rhomboid minor muscle, and this is the rhomboid major muscle. 
You can also see part of the trapezius muscle right here. 